Chanel has been around for a very long time, and it has produced a variety of very impressive fragrances uh, for more than 100 years. So, in this video I'll go through a few uh, of Chanel's best, uh, most popular, most celebrated fragrances. Uh, starting with, you could probably guess what it is, Chanel number no. 5. This is, this is like the kingpin of Chanel's fragrances. This came out in 1921, and it was an immediate success. Very unique at the time because it was one of the first perfumes to use aldehydes as a fragrance note, which are chemically synthesized, uh, light, crisp, you know, refreshing molecules. Um, it's also characterized by notes of civet, uh, some oak moss, sandalwood especially, um, very, very unique uh, feminine scent, which is still popular today, more than a hundred years after its creation. And it's, it's, it's classic, it's associated with classic elegance, classic femininity, um, very long lasting. And uh, pretty much, I, I would say the number one most popular, most beloved uh, Chanel fragrance. Now, another one, which is actually one of my favorites, is, if you could see, Coco, uh, by also Chanel, of course. This is unique, this came out in the 80s. Um, very, very, you could tell it's from the 80s, that, that strong, spicy, long-lasting, you know, well-crafted nature. Um, has cloves, very spicy, um, super warm scent, super, uh, kind of reminds me of Youth, Youth Do by Estee Lauder. I would say Youth Do is a bit louder. Uh, Coco is a little, little bit softer, more refined, uh, warmer, spicier, you know, very, very delicious um, fragrance. And uh, definitely a powerful fragrance for women, very kind of confident, powerful sort of perfume. Um, then there are some that I have unfortunately not had the pleasure of smelling myself, um, but I know that historically they are very, very famous and very beloved. Um, first of all, you gotta you gotta mention Coco Mademoiselle. Coco Mademoiselle has no relation at all to Coco here, uh, despite having Coco in the name. That's about it. Uh, Coco Mademoiselle is a much more modern um, fragrance, and it's pretty much uh, fresh, feminine, it has some amber notes, some um, orange, jasmine, a bit of rose, a bit of vetiver, um, things like that. Definitely, it's probably Chanel's current most popular fragrance, especially among young people, because it's obviously marketed toward a more modern, um, young, you know, young female audience. Um, Pretty much everyone that I have read who has tried this uh, enjoys it. It's a very, of course, being from Chanel, it's going to be a finely crafted fragrance. Um, and the notes, it, it sounds pretty good. Like I said, I haven't tried it myself, but, um, you know, mixing patchouli and vetiver with orange and rose and things like that, you're going to end up with a high quality product. So um, that's, like I said, probably the current most popular best Chanel fragrance. Then, if you want to go a bit more classic, kind of, you know, in the realm of uh, Chanel number no. 5, that era, then there is the uh, Bois des Iles, um, which is, it means like the drink of Ile, basically. Um, this came out in 1922, so one year after number no. 5. Um, this this was an immediate, you know, extreme success for the Chanel brand when it came out in Paris during that time. Um, it was especially popular because it has some very unique notes of sandalwood, lang lang, and tonka bean. And those notes sound very typical these days, but back in the 1920s, the Roaring Twenties, um, perfume was kind of going through an evolution because before that, women usually would only wear fresh, light, floral scents. Um, 
but then the flappers in the 20s came out and they were like all right we got to come up with something more interesting um more kind of warm and spicy so they they immediately took to um this particular perfume because it was so different for the time and um and it was especially a huge hit in paris where it came out because you know the parisians especially back then were always willing to try something new something interesting something you know fashionable um and it's certainly definitely a um fragrance that's still popular today it's probably a little bit less known than it has been but it's still an extreme classic and i would, I would also argue it's a unisex scent because it really doesn't have your typical modern um feminine scents like with coco mademoiselle which is a very modern feminine um scent you know that's definitely more stereotypically feminine compared to this old school feminine fragrance um which is by our standards today more unisex warm a little bit on the spicier side so then the last one that i have here is another classic from days gone by um called que de Russie, uh, which means russian leather and this uh has an interesting history it was inspired uh partially by coco chanel's russian lover at the time and also um apparently russian sh uh soldiers used used some sort of birch tar to um wax or uh polish their boots um leather boots so this is as you can imagine a very leathery tar-ish um resinous fragrance and that's exactly what it is um super musky uh leathery um, very strong fragrance again for women at the time back when this came out like in uh, 1920 exactly actually this was something revolutionary this was you know very different for women compared to what perfumes they were using before um and today, it could easily be considered a unisex scent. It's super just delicious, warm, leathery, you know, really, really delightful scent. And um, again, this is, um, some people today might not be familiar with this perfume anymore, but overall, it's still um, a classic, still popular, um, and all that. A very, very finely crafted um, fragrance as well. Um, it has that that old school charm, that elegance, you know, sophistication sort of thing going on, and um, that's pretty much what I have to say about you know, I suppose some of the best Chanel fragrances of all time. Um, of course, some are currently more popular than others, but in general, all of these kind of move in and out of extreme popularity. So. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, if you have any opinions about Chanel fragrances, you can leave those down in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.